go ahead and get started then. With the, start with our pledge and then our prayer. Commissioner Patton. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Our gracious Lord, we come before you this evening in the most humble manner we know. Ask you to bless us tonight and look down upon us and to give us compassion and understanding as we discuss and decide issues for our citizens. May we make decisions that are in our best interest of each individual and for the whole community as a whole. Bless Sandy as she is recovering from her surgery. May she have a speedy recovery and be back to health and protect Kevin as he travels back. Uh, from his vacation, keep him safe. Go with us tonight, Father. Bless us in all we do. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> okay. Welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, first item is the approval of minutes. Move approval of the minutes. Second. Have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Uh, approval of bills. I make a motion we approve <coughs> paying the bills. Second. Motion second. All those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Under new business, first item is uh, new checking account. That is something we have to start with the online payments. Uh, we have a separate account for that since there's so many different things going on with the online payments, so we'll just put it all into that account and transfer. It all dumps into that account from Stripe, and then you split it out. What do we need to approve? We need to approve allowing her to I'll open another motion. <coughs> allowing her to have to do the account. Actually, it would be Amy setting up. Well, signatures with Amy and Paul and myself. Amy will ask for that, so. Oh, she yeah, wants all that on there? Yes. Okay. Well, let's do it like this. I make a motion that we set that count up in accordance to our state regulations. Second. 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 Second started a window cleaning business and he was interested in cleaning our windows here. Um, it's $175 per visit and that would be a monthly fee. He would who, come once a month. Who is it? Um, Christian Bergens. I've never heard of him. Uh, it's Busy Prep. It's a home and business detailing service. <coughs> You get the other windows all around, others around that whole place, or just these? I'm not sure. I think it was just these. What was? I, he, I can get in contact with him and see if it was all the businesses. But who cleans them now? The guys. When will we get time? But now, if, if it's something we need to get done, I, I would like to take it, take a chance to see what it costs to get set up for it before we start outsourcing. Do one. not I'd like to get a, a quote on what the material we need for us to clean on for, before we start outsourcing. Oh, yeah, I think we've got people that can do it. That's why I was just wondering. Yeah. I thought, well, maybe they've never been cleaned. They look pretty clean to me. I don't know the price of window cleaning, but that seems a little high to us once a month. Yeah. Kind of what I thought. It would be just <coughs> once a month, $175. It says inside and out. So. Hmm. Well, call, call him back if you don't. If we need to, let's check with Larry first. Yeah, let's yeah. We'll put that on hold. If everybody's okay with that. Uh, Alma Randolph, alleyway on third. Yes, they're in the process of selling the property, <coughs> her mother's property. There is an old abandoned alley that runs to the mini park. Does uh, it go all the way through to 62? Or do we block it? It goes to, well, actually, first street's what we call it. Well, no, it's, it's yeah, you're not right. It's there, not there, when I first started, there used to be a, a walk bridge there. <coughs> yeah, remember that. Room. But anyway, the piece of property I think that belonged to her aunt and uncle uh, has no driveway access. And she was wanting to know about the alley, what our process are, was to give a deed alley up. <clears throat> so I told her, and I said, you know, we go 50 50. I said, but if it's going to be for the driveway for that house, you know, we may do 100% of the property since you're, you would 
be getting both sides anyway. And she, she, she said she would rather have that going to her aunt and uncle's property. And I don't want to recall the name that she said, but I can, I can find that out. And she knows she'd pay all the yes. survey. Look, please. Yes. If she's willing to do it, I have no problem with it. I, I don't either. Does that need to be in the form of a mm -hmm. motion? Yes. I make a motion that we allow <coughs> Alma Randolph to have it surveyed and take that over. I'll second. Can we have a motion and second? Any further discussion? That would be the alley from East 3rd Street to the ditch between East 3rd and East 1st. Okay. Okay. I'm here to represent Alma. I'm okay. Oh, okay. I'm just to see what the decision was today. Uh, when I talked to Alma last week, she she wanted the, the deed, the alley to go to her aunt and uncle's property right. for the driveway access. Right. What was her name? Uh, her aunt's name? Yes. Because it, it would be on that deed. Not the same last name. It's a different last name. Okay. I can... Uh, what that? Thanks for real quick. And we did approve it already. Yeah, it, it we, was, we it was already it. approved. We've so approved it. <laughs> we've approved it, so. So what does she need to do now? Does she, is she going to be mailed something? In the next few days, or? She will have to get with our attorney okay. to do a quick claim deed. Okay. Then if, if she's wanting to add that to her deed of the house, she may even want to have it surveyed. That would be up to her. She has sold her house. Okay. Uh, as of last week. Okay. So how is this going to work? She just uh, gets the deed transferred to her name, and then she. Um, we'll we'll instruct our attorney. Yeah, we'll let Ivy take care of that. I'm not if, sure. If we can just get the name of her auntie, okay. then we can advise our attorney. Then when she goes in to see Ab. Would you want me to step outside, give her a call real quick? She might be busy doing yeah, something. Oh, there she is. Uh, she just texted me back. Ida Wright. Uh, that's right. right. Ida. I remember the right name now. We will pass it to our attorney when he shows up here directly and, and just have her give you know, <laughs> maybe call a call and set up an appointment. And sounds wonderful. Thank you. Appreciate Not it. Not a problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you said something because I'd hate her wait the very end and then. Yeah. <laughs> well, when she walked in, she said, that's what I'm here for. So I waited to go there. Oh, okay. <laughs> If she walked over and sat down, I would have had a clue. I didn't know who she was. I, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, not only either, but she was for Amazon. Okay. Uh, next items Housing Authority Board. They've asked for an appointment, and Jewel did call me and had someone that they talked to that was interested in it. So, uh, and that would be Debbie Gilstrap. So, we need approval of that. I move to appoint Debbie Gilstrap to the Housing Authority Board. I second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Item five, surplus equipment. Yes, we've got several items that we need to either put up for sale uh, or take to the scrapyard or just throw away. Uh, some of them I have written down here is we're going to have a police car. What's the update on a new car? They haven't called. I checked the last. About three weeks ago, and he, he said, I'll call you back when I know something. Okay. He didn't call back. So we're going to have a police car. Uh, we have a lawnmower that has been broken for a couple of years. We've been stealing parts off of it to fix the others. Uh, we got to have a couple of garage doors we need to throw away. Uh, we had bought a new air compressor for the water department last year. Our old one, we can go ahead and put it up for sale or haul it off. Uh, our old leaf truck, it finally played out. Uh, we need to get rid of it. And there's a couple other items I, I don't have listed. I need to find out. Furniture. Furniture. All that. No, we already got rid of that. Okay. So that's gone. I've, I've held on to it for a little piece of time, so it's time to move some stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Is Need that building empty. Uh, is some of it worth selling, or is it just uh, mostly be better to take some, some scrap? No, the, the, the police car, of course, can be sold. The air compressor can be sold. Uh, 
you know, the little dump truck we have, it's got a spring broke so it leans. It uses uh, three quarts of oil every day when we do the leaf route. Mm. Uh, the brakes, there's no brake, hardly any brakes on it. So it's, it's it probably is, it'd be hot over there. Uh, just, you know, so it's, it's gone. There's a, a you know what I, But I know where I'll do this when we get rid of something they want to, they want a detailed list we'll get rid of. So and I, I can get bin numbers, whatever, off of it as well. Is that detailed enough? And then other mis yeah, put, and just put other miscellaneous items? items. I have, I'll have bin numbers for the next meeting. For well, the end, so we'll have bin numbers for this. I make a motion that uh, Larry be able to, the items he named and miscellaneous items be able to sell either for scrap or outright according to his discretion. That too big a motion. Does that leave you enough leeway to get it done? I think so, as long as all of you are okay with it. Or so I have, I have a, a list of everything. We I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is Morrow reg resignation. Yes, Jonathan Morrow, that was on a sanitation route. He uh, turned in his resignation last Friday. Was his last day of work. He has taken another job, so uh, I, I ask that we accept your resignation. Make a motion we accept Morrow's resignation. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. You need to advertise for help? Actually, we have a <coughs> we have an application here. Uh, I think we kind of have an open door policy like the police department where, where we always take. Uh, this here is his name is Shelton Shepherd. Uh, we, we, he actually we had him, we was getting him out as an inmate and he rode the truck. Uh, he was dismissed from jail after serving his time and he turned an application. Do a good job for us, I guess. Or well, he was tickled to get out. Yeah, he's, he's done real well. Uh, Mike, do you know him? Yeah, uh, his card stems from at McDonald's. Uh, him and actually a girl that was kin to him. They got in some kind of little verbal disagreement. Anyway, she gets out. He backs out. Kind of rolls her down the car. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he got charged with leaving the scene of accident one in Jamesburg, but I think they amended it down and kept it in district court. Okay. So, I think three months is what he started. Yeah. So it was, uh, yeah. That's, but it's public record. That's all that's, I know about him. Well, I know that's all he's ever been in trouble. Well, if you're going to be yeah. happy with him, I'd say hi. Right. I think he'd be fine. Kind of, it'll be any trouble. You need to end the form of motion as well? Yeah, starting yeah. today, I'll have to look and see what we started the last one at. I think of whatever the last one was. Well, she, Amy's going to want it in the minutes. She's going to do it. I'll look when we go into close session. I'll okay. Think, so. We can put that amount in there, though. Okay. We all know it's going to be whatever the going rate was. Uh, next item is. Uh, do we need to vote on it? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the right aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is Evans' resignation. Yeah, uh, one of our officers, uh, he did not turn in a letter of resignation. Uh, he called me Saturday and said that he wouldn't be back. I think he had been offered a job at UK Police Department uh, on the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't have a letter of resignation, but he told me, told me that uh, he wouldn't be back to work. So however y'all want to word that, and I guess he resigned. Were you expecting them? Uh, I mean, I knew yeah, you were expecting, but I mean. I, I really didn't expect him to do it that way. That's what I. Uh, I really expect him to give us a couple weeks notice. For uh, a professional person, but that's he, not but very he did. good. Uh, so, anyway. I'm not sure he's a professional as he needs to be. All of some things he's pulled. Yeah. I would say that the UK wouldn't hire him if they didn't think he was a professional. I 
Well, there's nothing we can do. That no, I just was. on the work record that he did not give us a, a letter of resignation. Well, I guess we say we are, I'll move to recognize or accept for Evans. Phony and resignation. Yeah, resignation. Verbal resignation. Yeah. You okay with that? We can handle that. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the heaving hatchets lease. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Olivia uh, is the woman that he hired to help run this facility. She's from Butler County. Uh, we sent her the information, or Shelby sent her the information to give to Tony. Is that his name, Tony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For him to sign it. We emailed it to him. And she comes back, she wants her name on the contract as well. So we, I, I reached out to her today and I told her, I said, uh, can you send me some paperwork on where you're part owner, whether it's where they bought it from Chris or whatever. So she sent this message to me, says, perhaps the easiest way is to go on the Secretary of State website and look it up. What's that tell her to look it up, Brian? I don't think that we should have to do her legwork if, and this was just Larry Carter thinking, uh, if, if Tony gives us the copy where she's part owner is one thing, but I'm not going to do no legwork for her. No, no if you don't have to do that. Uh, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if we... Tell, tell, me, tell me I got till November 1st or we're changing the laws. Yeah, I just table this till she can come up with her paperwork. We've been dealing with this for way too long for something as basic and as simple as this is. Yeah. Okay. Next item is the Brooke Renfro lease. Yes, she's asking on how much her rent is. I wouldn't have spelled out her. Her offer was two fifty. Okay. So I guess we number one we need to say we're going to rent to her. Prove that. Set rent, and then I, I, I don't know. One year lease, which she was. She put all this up and made this offer, building as is. I, I make a motion we accept. Brooke Renfro's offer of 250 with a one year lease. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I will say, I talked to her the other night. She's pretty excited she about is. it. She is. Oh, she's taking her death. Big plans she for the building. Should do well. Uh, next item is advertised for a police officer. Yeah, I don't think that's kind of like Larry said, but if y'all want to. <coughs> I move to approve Mike to advertise for one. one second. Yeah. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. James, you have anything? No. Uh, things seem to be running rather smoothly right now. Okay. I've got nothing Chunk. important to do. Okay, I've got a couple things. One is pretty basic. They've asked us to uh, do a uh, resolution, uh, proclamation for the community on the National Arts and Humanities Month for October. And I figure they're sitting right here. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it says arts and cultural production accounts for five billion six hundred and twenty three million two hundred and seventy three thousand dollars in Kentucky's economy two point six percent of our economy contributing to forty six thousand six hundred and fifty two jobs in 2020 uh, the national nonprofit arts industry alone generates twenty seven point five billion in government revenue and hundred sixty six billion in economic activity and generates Attendees spend on average of $31.47 per person per event beyond the cost of admission, meals, parking, lodging, uh, making the arts a vital income source for local business. And it's very important to the city of Beaverdam and the whole high county for that matter with the arts. So I would like us to go ahead and uh, approve that proclamation. And if you're a month or a week or? October, month of October. I'm of 2022. Month of October, the uh, <coughs> National Arts and Humanities Month. There you go, that. 
I'll second. Please. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, we do have a water service contract to look at. Yeah, we'll need to go into close. Not here, we'll need to so go into closed session for that too. Uh, I, I need to know if you want to go into closed session. Yeah, we may go ahead and start with it tonight, if he's not here because we need to get moving on it. Okay. Um, I've also got a contract here from the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the uh, outdoor recreation program to so, uh, the federal government where we applied for the grant, got the grant for the parking lot paving. It has been approved on the federal level, and we've got a contract here to sign with the Department of Local Government, and then I just need formal approval from this body to sign that contract. I move to approve the contract with the state for the Whatever it's called. Department of Local Government. There you go. I'll second. And uh, the amount's $88,084. So we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, same. For that kind of money, sign it quick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, we got it quicker than I expected. A lot of times it's a lot longer than getting it there. And then I have one other thing. I just wanted to bring up, not to necessarily do any action on the night, but I want you all to be thinking about it because I, I spoke with this guy when we were at KLC. And we talked to him once before, but the county used to do this. It's a, a reach alert program where we could set it up through people within the city limits. We can do a one phone call thing. It's all done automatically. They can get either email, well, or one, two, or all, text, phone call, and email. Uh, if there's any kind of issue, we put stuff on the water bill now, but if there's any kind of issue for a boil advisory or that's like the school of one-call system. School, uh-huh. And the county, we we didn't do it before because the county used to do it. And, I think it ran out. Huh? I think it ran out. It, it, it did. It got gobbled up. It's costly. Yeah, I think it got gobbled up by somebody. Yeah. Well, this one is going to cost us $1,350 for the first year because of KLC membership. And then uh, year two and three is $2,875 uh, $2, a year. Well, there's a lot of things they put on the water bill. People say, I didn't see it. I, can, I can't believe they don't see it on the water bill, but I've heard that before, so it might be a, something we were trying. I just think it's, it with as much as we've got going on, and, and it's an annual cost. There is no contract to sign. You can opt out at the end of any year, so we don't have to do year two and three. But uh, I just think it could be something good, and it can go to, like, uh, I'm trying to think, Somebody who has parents that live here, but they may live in Lexington, they can get the phone call in Lexington. So if there is an issue with the water or something going on, they know to help maybe with elderly parents to let them know what's going on and explain to them. Good to try. And if it doesn't seem to be panning out and people saying I'm not getting it, we can <coughs> I say not drop out. I think I'd like to see us try it. Yeah, it sounds like a good thing to me. Well, year one is $1,350. I moved to try to sign for the first year. We get a, it's over a 50% discount by being KLC members to try to get you to start. What they're doing is trying to get you to try it and see if it'll work for you. And they, they feel like it'll sell itself for the second year. Do we have to send out notices yeah. to sign up for it? How they go, people are know? Yeah, they'll work. We'll have to go through all that and get phone numbers and email it. You can do it, say phone, text, or email, or all three. I mean, we're going to. We should know within that first year if it's going to be beneficial to us. If that's, if that's. Did you make a motion? I'll be out. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion. I just want to ask a question. So when you said about water, Larry, did we have any issue with water? Because mine was brought a brown today. Because I didn't know that. <laughs> On your water See, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, uh, the problem with putting it on the water bill is if you have so much on your water bill, it kicks it off. Well, so see, that's what I say. That's one of them things that would be nice to know. <laughs> if it's just like out of town water, you'll have it because you just have your water that shows. But like, if you're in town, you have water, sewer, sanitation, and the extra six right. bags, it's going to kick it off. I can only put There's so only so much room on that card. I didn't, I didn't see a water bill. Oh, I don't hear it. <laughs> Mine's set up on automatic. I don't worry about it. Mike, do you have anything? David? Yeah. 
a um, couple things. The uh, kind of updated time frame on the truck. And at this point, they're saying November 28th, which is the completion date. Um, they are in the process of building the bed on it, so they are moving forward. 11 28th completion date. Where's it at? Uh, Bradyton, Florida. <sighs> they made it through the hurricane. So. Can we get here by December 3rd? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, they'd be pretty close to cutting it on the, going down, doing final inspection, and then getting it up. So it'd probably be, I'd assume late December, early January, if there's no holdups that push it back any farther. And I hope it comes in where you can blow the siren during the parade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the air packs in order this year is projected to ship out from the distributor in two days. Um, they'll get to the sales rep, and then he'll give them to me within a week. So they should be in sometime next week to the week after. Um, last meeting I asked about the uh, grant, the grant we filled out for for Kentucky Fire Commission. They now have three more. Um, one is for a battery powered combi tool, uh, which is a cutter spreader. It's a combination tool that draws life, but it's battery powered. The second one is for a four gas meter. And the third one is for a AED. Um, there's no match on any of these also. Um, What's the third one for? An AED. Uh, oh, AED. it's defibrillator. Um, there's no match for any of these. Just like the last one, I'm just asking for permission to fill out the grant process. I don't know if we need to do those in three separate ones or can we do them all together? Yeah. Don't see why we couldn't do them together. I don't see why we couldn't do them together since I'd it's coming from the same David place. I'd apply for all three grants. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Both same. Motion passes. And if you find out, Shelby, you got to be separate. Just put down three times. I could have, yeah. Just I'll, I'll, say, I'll second for them all. That is all I have. Okay, and we did get all the, I guess, all the paperwork signed and stuff turned in for that grant for the uh, generator. I haven't seen nothing on it in a while, so I didn't know. I'll have to check back. I'll okay. on my spam folder again. Was there anything else on there I needed to sign that I need to go back and look at? No, this was just something that came back, the stuff they were needing, and I asked Coley. i got to be careful because I want to call him Coley. And mm -hmm. we sat through that one presentation uh, with the DLG, and she kept calling him Coley. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's actually Coley. And I had a, uh, but he had it. He's already got it done and taken care of what she needed. Okay. So I on that one. Multiple contractors come by and look at the place. I guess they're putting bids, and I guess they've sent out. He sent out? I, to a bunch of them. I think we've received, they've received three. I haven't seen anything yet as far as who from. I know, I know who one of them's from just because I think two of them because they said on the email that they were going to. But. That's the last I've heard on anything. Just, I guess they're just taking bids at this point and going from there. I kind of like that where they do it all. We don't have to. Pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> but that is in the works uh, to get that taken care of too. So, Shelby, do you have anything? Yeah, we are going to have our um, public hearing on the 13th at 3 o'clock for the taxes. So I was just wanting to see when we could do a special call meeting. Friday. Thursday afternoon or Friday. Amy is begging. <laughs> uh, so she just hit me up this morning. I just wonder if we can fit it in. I'm probably flexible. Because it's, again, it'll be it'll be just the three of us because I know Sandy won't be up in the back. Just yet. Uh, just let me know and I'll make sure that I'm available. Well, you want that hearing at Thursday, you say? It's Thursday at three, so we can do we it. We do it that afternoon. We can do that afternoon at five fifteen. Yeah, that yeah. Was Thursday afternoon. And then Amy can get on set out. Yeah, I'll be able to do. That. Yeah. Okay. Here. Yeah. On the checking account, Amy needs uh, the names who are going to be able to transfer, <coughs> which would be Paul, Amy, <coughs> myself, uh, be, to be transferred to water, sewer, and sanitation, plus who is authorized to transfer out and, and sign in checks every day. So it'll be the same three. So if you send them in, it should be fine. Okay. Just to go to close session. <laughs> yeah. 
Larry, do you have anything? I haven't uh, got to you yet. I figured you did. Uh, we are going to be looking at some handicap swings. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some information to bring back next meeting to see if we want to go with them or something. Okay, we've got one already, right? Correct. Correct. And it's just a matter of getting it all laid out and set up. Um, one thing I would like to ask real quick Christmas dinner. Is it, are y'all okay if we do it here? Or would you rather go somewhere? Yes, for the for the employees, whatever they have to go. Well, well, they could all be here, and I'll be honest with you. The last time we went, they we had it here in town. We probably had as good a turnout as we did, and then one year we went to go back to Moonlight, and then well, about a third of the people showed up. So yeah, here was always good. And uh, I've already talked to Susan, so we have a cater lined up, and she's a heck of a cook. I just got to let her know when. Yeah, I really well, yeah, well, we have. I, I, she's bringing something for you. I know Is that. that no, I think oh. it was dressing. Okay. Something. She said, I have to bring this, or Larry won't let me come by. Who wants to have pepper? Don't mm -hmm. that does sound good. I like some stuff. <laughs> so we're good. Is there any night of the week that won't work? Other than I know Wednesday's not a good night, but is there any other night that won't work? Yeah, you're gonna hit something somewhere. But well, have I know, but you have to have, to have a choice. But if there's something like you have a meet, I know we, like the second Monday won't work. <laughs> well, how, uh, how, what, how, where are you planning it for, about when? Are you thinking about doing it? Probably sometime in the first or second week, early on. In December? Yeah, before it gets into a lot of stuff going on. I was going to say that November I'm out of town for a week, but that December I'm home. Third is on a Saturday, like maybe the 6th, 6th or 8th. Larry, do you see a problem or have a night better than? Not for us, no. Okay, we'll shoot for maybe one of those two and get that first full week of December. Okay. okay. Uh, speaking of Christmas dinner, ours is December 4th at 7 p.m. at Old South. It's on a Sunday. They couldn't do this on Saturday. I tried. <laughs> they said that's the only day they can close down. It is what it is. Yeah. But it'll be at 7 p.m. And where is it again? Old South Barbecue. Y'all are more welcome to come. What time? 7 p.m. Well, I like them in late, but I could all make that one. Yeah, we try <laughs> to push back a little bit later. You know, Sundays aren't always the best, but when you go to a business, sometimes that's the only time they want to take you unless you want to sit in there with a bunch of other people. So. Mm -hmm. We usually fill the dining room up. So. This food's pretty good. It is good. It's the only time I'd ever eaten there was. Yeah, and it's, I mean, they do us a pretty good solid on the price, too. They do us really good. So. I used to go there for breakfast quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And they actually, they quit shut down for everybody. They don't, they're not doing parties now. But they said because we've been going there religiously for years and years that they're going to still host us. So I was good Okay. Where, where did you look at for the city? What day was you looking at for the city? December 6th or 8th. Okay. I'll check with her and see if they either. We'll just pick one of them from there then. Okay. I need to entertain a motion to go into closed session to discuss the contract. We go into closed session. Second. <laughs> you you got here just in time, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Motion to yes. Go back in yes. Going back into back open session. Go back in session. We did discuss, like I said, we had some contract and legality issues we've been working on and discussed, but no action was taken in that closed session. Does anybody have anything else to bring up? Entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Okay.